Let's take a closer look at how you can create channels inside your class team in order to serve as breakout rooms where you can organize groups of students in order to provide focused instruction, differentiation of learning, facilitate small group discussions, and moderate peer feedback. So here I am inside the general channel of my class team for remote learning, and you can see that we are in the post tab which is where most of the announcements are posted to the class as well as uh, any questions are asked and important files or documents are shared with students. Now, keep in mind that this post tab is open to all of the student members of the team to participate. But what if I wanted to facilitate smaller group instruction? Well, I could do so by creating breakout rooms. And how we do that is by simply adding new channels to the team. So again, to add a new channel, I'm going to come up to where we see the title of the team and click on the three dots or more options menu. And I'm going to select add channel. Here, I can give the channel a specific name. I can provide a brief description and I can decide if I want this channel to be standard, that means that all members of the team will have access to the channel, or I can set the channel to be private. And when I set a channel to be private and click next, you can see that I can add specific students to be members of this channel, and only those students will be able to participate inside that channel. Let's just go back to adding a channel. And I'm going to create my first breakout room channel for my first group in my class. I'm going to go ahead and make this a private channel. And when I click next, notice that I have the option of adding students to the channel right away, or I can always add students after I have all my channels created. Let's go ahead and add a few students now. Simply going to start by typing their names. And once I've added the students who will be part of group one to this channel, I'm simply going to click add. And we'll click done to continue on. All right, so we have our first breakout room or group channel created. Keep in mind that I created it as a private channel so it's only going to appear in the channel list for the students who have been added to the particular channel. So here inside the channel, I can see that the students will have access to a shared post tab where they can engage in conversation as well as share files that they wish to collaborate on. They also have their own files tab which will serve as a file storage area for any files that they do share and collaborate on in Teams. As the teacher of this class team, I also have the ability to meet now with the students who are members of this particular channel. Simply by coming down to uh, the little video camera icon underneath the new conversation text message box at the bottom of the screen. When we click meet now, we can add a subject for the meeting and simply click meet now in order to launch the video conference. The other members of this team can then join the video conference and I as a teacher can moderate the conversation or guide the conversation to facilitate instruction. These features, the post tab, the file storage, as well as the ability to video conference inside the channel are also available in standard channels. The only difference is that a standard channel, any member of the team could come inside the standard channel, whereas in a private channel, the membership is limited to the students that you choose to add. Once I've gone ahead and created the different channels for my breakout rooms, uh, for each of the different groups that I'm working with. Keep in mind that inside each channel, the students can meet now or have a video conference 
And I, as the teacher, can move between the different channels, meeting with each of the groups in order to facilitate their discussions, moderate any peer feedback, as well as provide differentiation of instruction. 